Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another ride along with goggles. And uh, so the, this is the finished skin now. It's up on Steam, and uh, should have been a link in the last video. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's done. This is the 38-inch uh, cab. We're sitting here with it running because we're going to take this special transport right here. And uh, so we're just getting ready to drive onto the Icon. And uh, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. I um, I don't know what else different from. Oh, I didn't put the extra stripes on the steps. I thought it was a bit too much. Like I put I put the little doodads under the Kenworth on the hood and the, put a little A A H A H H under that little wing emblem and put that on the fenders too. And um, yeah, other than that, like uh, look pretty good. So let's uh, get this special transport underway and see what gives. Right, let's do this. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, we're going to take this big, heavy, massive tech part. And, uh, yeah, it should be cool. 99,000 down to Lewiston. So there's, uh, they got, um, at Laurel, they've got uh, heavy tra heavy haul. It's 240 miles, but it just goes to Glendive. Like, this is all four lane, I think. So we're going to take this one because it could be more challenging. And it's pretty wide, so... Oh, give us something to think about along the way. And just in case you haven't seen this before, like when I do my um, engine mods, the way I do the Z mod thing, it shows up the way you create it and put it in the game. So like there's my 3688, my big gun, I call it. <laughs> yeah, 5,000 newton meters of torque, 1,005 horsepower. So, and it shows up in the job or uh, at the shop when you're putting the engine in properly. So. Uh, and there's a, a tutorial on that. Um, anyway, let's. Uh, looks like we're in good shape to continue here. Oh no, it's gonna be nighttime. Oh, curses! Oh well. Now we'll see how it goes. I'm running out of time to make this video for tomorrow, which will be Friday, so we may just have to roll with it. But it's all good. So this looks like it's, oh, <laughs> I think it's, is it 20 by 20 and 16 feet long? I think the width is 20. Let's see if we can look at it. Oh, so here we are, the rules. So the rear car, pilot car moves, we hang on, front pilot car moves, and then we move. And I like to call it riding in the cradle. So they create the cradle and just make sure you're in it and um yeah let's hope you you know the uh, i've had disappointments with these jobs where the uh lead pilot car does wacky things so we'll see how we get on this time uh let's see i don't know i actually need low low i got quite a bit of power here let's um have a look at it real quick so 20 by 20, oh yeah, it's 20 by 20 and 16 feet high. That would be what it is. Okay. So we're 20 feet wide. This is a great truck for doing these loads. Uh, any wide loads, because the, like, the mirrors are so good, the cab's narrow. So, like, I, 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 don't, I don't use the little mirrors up that you can put up top. I, I like using the mirrors that are on the truck and uh, you can see them a quick head turn and you got the one on the right no problem we got lots of room coming out of here oh look at that sunset see this is where it would be really cool to have the option to go real time and just drive in the sunset for a while, like you can with, uh, um, oh, what's you call it again? Oh, darn, I'm having another brain fart. Um, oh, starts with an E. <laughs> Reform is a uh, standalone map. 
in uh, real time. It's kind of fun. I got to do another video on that one of these days. We'll get to it. So, got our cruise on 40. Now, if you choose, I put a transmission in with a retarder, which I know doesn't make sense to the realists out there, but uh, if we go downhill, you'll see the brake lights come on in the dark here, and the, uh, the cruise control will maintain our 40 miles an hour downhill, too. This guy goes at the other vehicles. Have a look out here and see how close we're coming to stuff. Eh, pretty close. Oh, I'm going to run into him. <laughs> Bad time to get out of the cab, Dan. He's going to get annoyed with me. And if you haven't done special transport before, you uh, just follow the cop car. You ignore the stop signs and the red lights. And you just go for it. I guess we're going so slow we can put the windows down. Go straight. Oh, he's going slow. Why is he doing that? I wanted to see the cruise control put the brakes on over the hill here. He's ruining my plan. Here, we'll put it back on here to see if it's working. Yeah, the brake lights are on. See, it's going to hold the speed. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. So, if I didn't have a, a transmission with a retarder, it wouldn't do that. So, there's a little quirk of the game for you. Oh, you hear that? I, th I think I mentioned before, you get this little alarm when the uh, cruise control and retarder are working to slow our speed. You see a little uh, symbol appear on the dash panel, a little red icon. It looks like a brake icon, and uh, you'll hear a... Go sounds like a little telephone ringing or something. I for that. downhill here it might uh, do it. Looks like they uh, might get a little application of their tartar here. No, maybe not. I guess it's heavy enough that we're pulling fairly hard. Are we 
gonna get anywhere. <laughs> Watch that uh, Derek uh, guy on uh, Vice Grip Garage. He always goes, he's perplexed. He goes, well, help me understand this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, help me understand this. On to 40. There we go. Go straight. Oh, yeah, I just heard that indicator. Now we'll wait for down, an obvious downhill. I'll quit watching for it, it'll happen. It's kind of neat being in the dark. Like I said in a different video, I, 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 loved, I loved driving in the dark. It, I did a ton of it. And uh, I liked it. Just me and my thoughts and my radio. Lots of stuff behind us, including our pilot car. <laughs> so yeah, brand new truck. Uh, I just um, I bought it, put it in the Lillowit garage. Then I uh, saw this job, so I quick traveled to Welker Farms and did a few fine t bit of fine tuning on it at the shop at Welker Farms and drove over to Harvard. Oh, there's that symbol on the dash and the little whistle. Yeah. I'll roll up the windows. We'll hear, we'll hear the little whistle better. When it happens. Oh, there's an airplane over there. Or, yeah, whatever. Maybe it's something else. There's something going on. I hear a helicopter, too. Oh, no, that's a prop plane. Probably that steerman wandering around. I guess he's instrument rated. Now my speedometer says I'm going 39 miles an hour, so... Well, the one on the truck says 40. I got my cruise control at 40, but my uh, digital dash here says 39. I guess it won't make a huge difference in the overall scheme of things. Okay, let's get ready to slow down here. I'm going to have a turn. And we got nobody coming, so we're going to grab that lane. That instance is doing this. Yards, turn right. Where the pilot car is pretty much useless. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm getting a warning because I'm not between turn the right. escort vehicles. That drives me nuts with this. So now you can't tell what I'm doing, so I'll sneak over here. Can't see a thing out there. Oh, we're good. Go straight. Oh, 
Boy, streets are quiet. Good thing. I wonder if that crowd is still behind us. No, just a pilot car. <laughs> 70, 65 at night, whatever. If we had that wacky TK360 on here, <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Imagine doing that in the dark. That crazy trailer. Uh, that would be different. Two lane road <laughs> at night with that massive trailer. I should dust off the old Rackley again just for giggles. Uh, I really like that trailer. That was a good one. But um, it's one that even when I had it back, I guess in 139, it wasn't even updated for 139. Like the uh, like we saw with I can't remember what trailer it was we had a while ago with a cargo where the um, it had a cab and there was light inside the cab that was. You know, it'd be dark out, but the cab would be all lit up. Or during the day, you would see this really weird light in the cab. Pretty strange. That was kind of a bummer. So, you know, pick loads don't have something with a cab. <laughs> if it's at night, in particular. The thing with the Rackley, unlike this, you get your choice of day or night. Now what I do, like I, I have the dev console set up, and if you don't, you should consider it, because for, um, like if I was uh, just doing like pretend career mode, I wouldn't need it as much, but for doing videos and trying to get stuff done in the daytime, what I do is uh, I'll look for jobs in particular that I want to do, and if I don't see a job from a particular place that I want, I go in the dev console and I set the time of day uh, to, like, say, for example, if it's 11 o'clock, I, I have uh, in the dev console, if you do up arrow or down arrow, uh, once you call it up, it'll remember the last commands you used. And if I do it, I'm going to have 7 a.m. or I'm going to have 10 a.m. or going to be there up or down. And what I do is if it's 11, or 4 p.m. or 8 at night, whatever, I will go dev console 7 a.m., enter, and then it'll be 7 in the morning. I look for a job that's going to go where I want to go. If it isn't there, I move the time to 10 a.m., and then I, right away, as soon as it goes 10 a.m., I change it to a, a 7 again. What that does is move me ahead a whole day, and so it's 7 a.m. the next day. I look again for the job I want. Don't find it. And I've gone like two weeks to find a specific job for these videos. <laughs> That's the extent you can go to. It's pretty different, but it works. So you can get what you want and uh, the load you want with the trailer you want. And obviously it's not the sort of thing I would want to do if I was doing the trying to have a career and follow a logical progression of loads and sleep cycles and all that stuff. Um, I, I guess potentially by now you've seen or know there's a uh, tutorial out there in the mod order thing. I don't know how good it was. I, don't, I really don't know how videos these tutorials work out but hopefully it was clear as mud um, I might do another one on uh, somebody was asking me in a private personal message about uh, adding weight to uh, um, axles like how do how do I add weight to a truck how do I make it a six by six or an eight by eight? And uh, like, if you want to pull some extreme loads, you got to jack the truck up a fair bit. You can't just, you 
you know, it's just like taking a knife to a gunfight if you don't do some mods. And you'll find a balance of what works, what you need to do. What, you know, what's going to be a good one or what's too much or... I don't have some challenges left. But I find the... Uh, giving it an all-wheel drive chassis really helps in some situations. I took, uh, if you remember, the default triple low boy. You can get a 120,000 pound uh, log loader. And you can get the, the heavy load is the one that has the grapple included might be over 120. Well, I took that up the hill at Bellingham, up the mountain, with the triple low boy. That was pretty cool. But I had to add a fair bit of weight to it. I used the Viper chassis on that one. Uh, I think I made it a fairly, didn't make it a real long chassis, but an eight by eight, and added some weight to it. And it was nip and tuck, like, I mean, you had to, because the weight is what it is on the load, you can't change that. And you can only get so much traction down on gravel. And so you do really have to drive the truck. Like, uh, you got to be able to... Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. you got to uh, modulate the throttle and to maintain traction. Turn right. Pretty cool. Oh, it's a DD60, of course. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Because that little whistle just went off for the retarder. So I'm at 41. i got to back that up to 40. There we go. There. <laughs> it must be on a... No, I guess not. We're going flat. The little tire thing beeped a couple times there. Probably just because he changed his speed and the cruise control on the truck was uh, uh, modulated, or the speed was being modulated. Yes, I'm pretty happy with this skin, actually. I think I'm not going to do any skinning tomorrow, or at least not for this truck. I'm going to take a break. I might try and find a few oldies. I, I'm trying to track down uh, a few old trucks that I'd like to do. Also, uh, uh, one of our viewers mentioned the uh, F700 from KSW. I, I've got it. I've got, a, I've got an old school skin for it. But I've run a whole bunch of old school skins lately in a row and stuff, so what I'll do, I'll wait a little while till we haven't seen an old school skin for a while, and then maybe I'll drag that thing out and we'll do a little trip in it. It's an interesting truck. It's not terrible. Uh, it's not... I can't remember if, how good the chrome was on it. I would like to take that giant out again, uh, the one we saw in the... Uh, what was the tutorial? Was that again? The trend? Uh, what are we doing? Oh, uh, the rear, the cast add-on. Yeah. Boy, I wish KSW would update those trucks. Like, I don't know if it's a real big deal to go in there and if you know Blender and go you straight. did the mod in Blender, that's where you go and set your Chrome up. Maybe I'll have to learn to do that fix it up for my own purposes. I did try it. Like, I'll tell you how much it bucks me. <laughs> I don't laugh. But I went and I went into the files and I found the textures and everything else and the numbers for... He'd give a part description and it would have numbers after. The numbers are the, are the, the texture the, right. for the chrome. And then I went 
and I found a mod, I think I was using the KSW, or sorry, the uh, K100E, and <laughs> I, right. I was, um, trying to apply K100E chrome textures numbers on the uh, KSW, but it didn't work. And I spent, you know, reams of notepads writing out the, uh, the numbers and everything. It was just, oh man. If it had worked, it would have been cool, but man, what a waste of time. After 100 yards, turn left. That's how much that gray pipes on that uh, giant Turn bug me. Left. Oh, what's he hitting the brakes for? Oh, he's going to hand it off to me now. Okay, he's done. All right, well, I'll try not to hit him here. Oh, I was out here. Uh, I can't remember if we did a video from here or I just drove out here. Well, we'll have to... Uh, Watch the fences here. I don't even see anything outside. Yeah, it's not so great. I kind of like driving inside at night. It's cool. We never troubled the parameter at <laughs> the bottom right there <laughs> in this trip. Yeah, the old gal didn't work at all. I got too big an engine in it. I guess I I should have had a. Uh, just maybe my medium heavy haul engine would have been lots. It looks like we're going to have a little bit of a, a trick getting in here. Let's see, what can I see of this? I wish you could turn on working lights like in uh, my flat deck. Like I had lights I could turn on all over the place. I wired up with switches and if I wanted to see something, I could see it. I had them under the deck. I had them position so I could, oops, I'm just rubbing that, oh, oh, come on, get off there, um, like for putting tire chains on, I had ones for that, and it was pretty good, now hopefully we don't have one of these collision zones out here like we did in that last video, let's see what happens, oh, we're way out here, we got lots of room, better come back in, oh, I've driven off the route, no way, Load checkpoint, okay. Let's see where it's gonna put us. I got the wheel turned really st Sorry about that, guys. Oh, we're, we're at the farm. Okay, so this corner isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, so. See, I don't have any weight added to this truck and it'll spin them up really easy. Cause this is uh, like the new truck and I put the new uh, open that file in. I just copied it in and overwrote the old one. And so I got to go back into the, op uh, the open def and add a little weight to the uh, 8 by 8 uh, the 6x8. Make it an 8x8. This is... do my little magic. So I'm not going to go as far out there this time. Let's see, I think this should work here. Oh yeah, we're w well past that. Oh, we do have this trailer up here though. Watch for that. Yeah, I was way overcompensating there. You have reached your destination. We have. Well, we've got federalis in here. Oh, I see. I just drive onto the. Yeah, the parking thing's already there. I don't need to push any buttons. Hit the cop car. I'd have to buy him coffee. And you know, if the cop, if it's going to be coffee, there's going to be donuts involved. Sorry to any police out there. But it's true. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> All right, there we are. The heavy haul and the Alberta heavy haul truck. Awesome. Okay, uh, what do we got? Lights, beacon. Parking brakes on. Oh, beacon's still going. There we go. Oh, yeah, I got to detach the trailer. Right. Didn't use a whole lot of fuel. Idling along, 25,000 bucks. Thank you very much. Awesome. 
And uh, uh, let's go in the truck, hop in here for a sec. Get inside, turn some lights on in here. You can see the little, uh, my little Alberta heavy haul air freshener hanging down there. I did that in the um, Sissel's uh, customiz customizable uh, accessory pack thingy. The green, the green icon that was in the um, mod order above the orange one for Sissel. Anyway, uh, thanks ever so much for following along. Really appreciate it. I think, yeah, it was nighttime, but it was kind of cool. And uh, we'll uh, catch you on the next one. And bye for now.